When a customer asks us to make a website, they expect it to look good on all kinds of devices. They expect it to look good on their desktop, on their iPads, tablets, and on their cell phones. Elementor has great tools that allow us to modify how our website looks in each one of these different devices. Hi everyone, my name is Emmanuel, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Elementor's responsive settings to make your website look a specific way for desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. I'm even gonna show you how to make the website look one way on desktop and a completely different way on mobile devices that is more specific to them. This video is gonna be super easy and step-by-step, step, so if you've been wondering how to edit how your website looks on mobile versus how it looks on desktop, this is a video for you. Before we get started, please remember to like this video so YouTube shows it to more people. My goal is to get this video to 200 likes, so I'd really appreciate you for helping me do that. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So here's a website that I created for one of my customers for his jewelry store. And this is a really great looking website. It even has a mega menu. And by the way, if you want to learn how to make a mega menu with Elementor, just like this one, subscribe, because I will be making a video to cover how to do that coming up very soon. So remember to subscribe for that. Um, so you can see the website looks great on desktop, but if I shrink the window down here, to the mobile view, we can see that on mobile, it actually looks completely different. It looks like a different website, it has a different design, and it's the layout has been completely customized to make the experience on mobile uh, very specific to what a mobile user is looking for. It looks like two completely different websites. So how do you do that? How do you make the website look one way on desktop and a different way on mobile? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Here we have a website that we're working on and it's got a couple of sections that we've made up. So in case you didn't know where to find the mobile settings, you can come right here to responsive mode. It's gonna be this icon down here with the uh, computer and the phone, click it. And it's gonna give you some options. So you have a tablet view and you have a cell phone view. And when we're here on the phone view, we can see how the website is gonna look on a phone. And by default, Elementor does a pretty good job at making it look good on mobile. But let's say that for mobile, maybe you want this to be a little bit smaller. All you have to do is click on the text, go to style, click on typography. And then if you see this little mobile icon, it's gonna let you know that you can change this section, uh, change this title and change the size only for mobile. So let's say I make it really small for like the cell phone, make it really small like this. When I go back to desktop view, that does not affect the desktop view. So this way you can go ahead and change the settings without having to worry uh, about what it's gonna look like on mobile. So let's put this back to a good size, maybe 60. Um, but what if you want this to be a completely different word? What if uh, on desktop you wanted to say discover, but maybe on mobile you wanted to say explore? How do you do that? Well, right now, if I write, if I go to the desktop mode and I change this word to explore and I go back to mobile, it doesn't really work. It's always going to show the same word. So this is how you do it. There's a very special setting that we have to use. So all we have to do is duplicate this. Now we have two versions of the same element and we want to create the mobile one. So let's use the second one here and we're gonna write explore. There is our second one. If we go to mobile right now, we're gonna see both of them in mobile. So we wanna tell Elementor, let's hide this one when we're in mobile and let's show this one. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click right here. We're gonna to go to the advanced options and there's an option called responsive right here. We're gonna click responsive and look at these options. Hide on desktop, hide on tablet, hide on mobile. So this discover, we don't wanna show it on the tablet and we don't wanna show it on mobile. We only wanna show it on desktop. So if I go to mobile view, you'll see that now this discover is grayed out. And when we use the phone on mobile, it's only gonna show explore. However, when we use the phone on desktop, it's gonna show both. What we need to do next is change the settings for explore to do the opposite. So we kinda of come here to the explore go to advanced, go to responsive, and we're gonna put hide on desktop. So before I do that, let's click preview so you can see what I mean. Let's preview the website. And you'll see that here on the preview, it has both of them. And if I go into mobile, it hides the other one. But what we need is to show one 
on desktop and the other on mobile. So we're here at explore. We're going to click hide on desktop and update. And now when we come back here to our website, let's refresh. We can see that on desktop, it shows discover, but when we switch to mobile view, it shows explore. So we have two different settings for the two different options that we want to show. And these two are completely disconnected. So for example, if we go to mobile, now uh, this explore, we can go to style and we can change the color to white maybe, and maybe we wanna give it a shadow and we wanna use um, a different font. So let's just change the font right here. For example, let's just pick a crazy one. This one looks cool, right? So, and we wanna make it bigger maybe, there you go. So let's click update here. And now we see that our website looks completely the same, but when we go to mobile, we have the updated design. So that's how it works. That's how those settings work. Uh, let's do one more example. Uh, I wanna show you guys how to create a whole new different section. So let's go back to desktop view. And Elementor has a really cool undo setting right here under history. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down to started editing. That's gonna undo all the things that I did. So here we are back at the beginning. Let's delete this button that I had here before. So what if I want this to be the desktop version, but for the mobile version, I want something completely different, an entirely different section. We can do that. The easiest way, you can always add a new section and change the settings, but the easiest way is to duplicate your, uh, your desktop sections. Since a lot of the time you might have similar content on your phone, on your desktop, just with a different design, but maybe the same kinds of words. And all we have to do is right here in the options for the entire section right here, we're gonna to go to the first section, go to advanced, go to responsive and tell the computer uh, Elementor, hey, this one's gonna be for desktop. So hide it on tablet and hide it on mobile. Or if you were using a bigger tablet that can display a full screen, maybe you wanna show it on desktop and tablet, but hide it on phones. In this case, we're gonna hide it on these two. And then for this second section, since this is going to be our mobile section, we're going to change the settings on this one to in advance. We're going to change the settings to show on mobile and hide on desktop. All right. And it's going to grade out because we're in the desktop editing portion. Let's go to the mobile editing portion. Here we are now I grade out the top. Let's go down here. All right. So let's say that in our desktop section, we want to have a different word. So maybe we want it to say amazing like that. And we want to use a different font. Uh, let's say this one, amazing. And we want to have a different headline. Like maybe we can say, you can do it like that. Let's do a capital Y right there. And instead of get started, you want to write contact us. Whoops like that. And we want to change the design a little bit. Maybe we want the button to be red on mobile and we want the back. We want even a different background. So let's come here to go to style. And here where it says choose image. Let's choose a different image for this one. Let's choose these mountains instead. Insert media. And there you go. So here we have our, this one's kind of ugly guys, but you know, you guys got the concept of the, the, the way that you can change it. Um, so let's click up to here. So you can see that right now on desktop, we have our desktop section. And if you go to mobile, we have our mobile section completely different. Obviously you guys can make a prettier design than that, but you guys get the idea. Uh, so yeah, you can change these responsive settings for any part of the website. So even here, um, let's go to this section here where we have two columns, right? Uh, let's say you only want to hide, um, you don't want to hide a specific element, like maybe like we did it with the title. You want to hide a specific column, like, hey, you know what? On mobile, let's not show all this text because, you know, maybe people don't want to read that much on their phone. We go here to column, we go to advanced, responsive, and hide on tablet and mobile, update. And that will only hide the column. So if we refresh here, we see that on the desktop version, we've got everything normal. And when we go to mobile, we have lost the column. We have the picture, but we lost the column. So every element has these settings. You can see that the text under advanced, responsive, we have the settings right there. If we go to an icon even, and we go to responsive, 
We have the settings right here. Uh, even these video backgrounds, if you go to advanced, responsive, you can have the settings right here as well. So guys, that is how you use the responsive settings to make different sections that only show up on mobile versus sections that only show up on desktop. I hope this video helped you. Uh, I'm gonna be making more videos like this back to back. So if you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you guys again so much for watching and have an excellent day. Bye-bye.